Before this video starts, I have no hate towards Secretary Duque, the Department of Health, the CNN News, and the government of the Philippines. This video was only just my personal reaction to the interview between Secretary Duque and Pinky Webb on February 27, 2020. Don't take this video seriously. Thank you for your time. Kuya Gab! Huh? You have to see how many views this is. It's your last video. Your last video. Why is he talking about? Is he talking about my latest video about the deep thoughts? Hmm. I wonder what it is. It feels like it's kind of weird somehow. Let's check the new video. Fifty-nine views. And why are the chickens clucking? Uh, I don't know. Uh, pause it first. So, let's make a new video. I'm willing to. Hi guys, it's me again and welcome back to my another video and today we're gonna do a lot of things in this video so be prepared because this is gonna take a long long ride. I will show you in this video about the Philippines government reaction to the COVID-19 virus because ever since the COVID-19 virus has struck the whole world, it's also struck the Philippines at March. And it's kind of a virus now. It's not an epidemic we call it. It's some kind of a pandemic. But anyways, in this video, we're going to take a long time. And also, I'm going to do this in Fridays, not in Sundays anymore. Because first, I wanted to complete all my challenges in Fortnite and also play Fortnite. And I have never played Fortnite in the weekends, so I have to do this in Friday. But anyways, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy this video. Basta the assessment tool, that is what is known as uh, the uh, decision table. This is an assessment tool that will show uh, whether a person belongs to the PUI category. Person under. Yes, the person under investigation, investigation. which means uh -huh. nagkaroon ng fever, uh -huh. Coughs, colds, tapos nagkaroon na history of travel to Wuhan, and then yung four exposures that I enumerated. Yeah. Okay? So, kung ganon, ang gagawin, number one, kukunin ng Bureau of Quarantine Officer yung kanyang health declaration card or the yellow form. Okay? Number two, that will be admitted as a case of PUI. Number three, the patient will have to be isolated. Number four, kukunan ng throat swab. Yun ang padadala, specimen to RITM. RITM does the testing. Just so, nobody in his right mind can ever say, oh, positive yun. So, any hospital here, sir, yeah. in the, in, in, Man or anywhere they here, not, except nobody, RITM, ah, yes, they, cannot say that you are positive of coronavirus. Not even sir. RITM. <laughs> That's why we are sending to uh, Melbourne, Australia. Yeah, but sir, yeah. RITM can say, can do a first confirmatory yes, test, yes. right? The, and the, then not, you do not, the secondary. You don't call it confirmatory. What do you the call it? RITM just uh, can do the testing, the preliminary testing. For this clip, I want to say that why do you need to confirm a sample from here on the overseas, even if we just have RITM test and confirmed cases? It's kind of a shame that even we have RITM, Duke is just making them useless. I know that Duke is making sure to send samples overseas, but why can't we just test them here? Uh, there are seven uh, measures that we have put in place. One, we've set up the task force on novel coronavirus. Number two, we have already issued out the interim guidelines on uh, novel coronavirus. Number three, we have heightened uh, border surveillance uh, and uh, including uh, thermal scans mm -hmm. and uh, also, of course, uh, the uh, re, uh, re institution of the health declaration checklist. And then uh, the, we have issued out also the uh, assessment tool or the decision table, so to speak. So, malamo mo who is PUI, who is SARI, who is I suspect ILI. Okay? What's ILI? Uh, 
influenza like yeah. illness. Okay. okay, and then we have done laboratory and hospital preparedness. We have scaled up, you know, the uh, personal protective equipment, and then the uh, collection and testing of uh, specimens, mm -hmm. and then uh, the establishment of mm -hmm. the novel coronavirus surveillance with daily reporting right. mm -hmm. and risk communication in all communications uh, platforms, quad media. Uh, to counter precisely the infodemic. In this clip, I like how Duque was prepared enough for the, this virus. Even though we got safety measures and protocols, I'm sure that I have no bad comment for this clip. No, you have to wait until the DOH uh, gives out the advisory after the DOH uh, uh, consults with the WHO. We have to wait for the WHO. We cannot just, uh, I mean, if they want to do that on their own, mm -mm. you know, it's really up to them. Okay. okay? But uh, the DOH uh, must exercise uh, caution and prudence in uh, making sure that uh, verified information is available mm -hmm from the most credible uh, sources and uh, do not supplant the sources of credible, credible information uh, with personal opinions and personal uh, you know, uh, uh, conclusions hastily jumped into. Mm. So, because if you do that, you know, that, that's uh, very lamentable. Mm -hmm. So we wait for WHO. So, so uh, that's something you don't, it, it doesn't seem you're, you're too happy with what the school did, sir, uh, suspending classes. I don't know what the situation advise? there is, but uh, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I have to look into this. That's okay. the better uh, response to your query. Firstly, why do you need to wait to announce to stop classes when a known virus is spreading throughout all over the world? It's important to stop the classes immediately because the whole school may get infected with this kind of disease. Duke just misunderstood, just misunderstandingly has a misconception. Also, I don't care if you aren't happy because schools are announcing to stop classes. You, are, you just cause more people being infected. That's why we have many cases in the first place. I think it's a decision that uh, we have to await the advice of the WHO because they're more or less, you know, uh, aware of what's happening. They have people uh, stationed uh, across uh, China. So let's see what uh, China does. But it's best that China does this uh, ahead of everyone. Sila na maunan doon sa mga lockdowns, sir. Because they're an autocratic state. Once they said, hindi pwede, hindi pwede. Wala nang mga... In the Gaia, as a democratic mm -hmm. state. Why do we need to wait and chill but act instead and cancel all airport flights? I don't think that you're right because people are getting infected from flight to flight. For me, you're calling yourselves right, but for my opinion, you are not perfect, including me. Yeah, it's a, I guess it's a little too late, but you know, as they say, it's easy to judge when. Uh, it's uh, hindsight, it's 2020. But I think they've been uh, relatively more transparent than during the uh, SARS uh, of 2002, 2003, yeah. where it took 89 days before they uh, disclosed it. Uh -huh. And so led to about 8,000 cases globally and uh, right. sadly about 800 deaths that for a 10 to 12 months. percent. 10 yeah. to 12 percent case fatality rate. MERS-CoV was 36 percent case fatality rate. Uh, uh, very high and in this case it looks like uh, consistently it's hovering around uh, 2 to 3.5 percent 2 to 4 percent so uh, this is uh, relatively much uh, better than, than both SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV SARS and, 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 and COV, yeah. for me he's right I mean China has a lot of cases than the whole world at the time of this of the video's stream i have no i have i have no bad comment on this part because he is right and china is too late to have a lockdown because he, they have a lot of cases uh, yeah of course uh either you have fever you don't have coughs and colds or you have coughs and colds but you don't have fever but you had travel history uh from wuhan and then exposure to the four yeah. items I just enumerated, you will automatically be considered or admitted as person under investigation. He's right, because if you have those four symptoms, that means you are the person under investigation. So it's very, very true, and he's right, so I have no com bad comment on that. 
Yeah, okay. Personal hygiene. Okay, washing of the hands, 20 seconds, say the, our father, sing the uh, uh, happy birthday, you know, the uh, palm, the back, uh, and, the, and mm. the, uh, the digits, or yung mga dalire, o maglagay ng alcohol. Uh -huh. Do it as often as you can. Uh -huh. Before eating, after eating, after you've touched, you know, your phone, your whatever, whose Let's uh, remember, items. madumi yung phone, di ba? I know, it's on the phone, <laughs> mind. It's one of, you know, you culture that, you see a lot of uh, yeah. bacteria. Okay, so this is not just limited to the usapin novel coronaviruses, but also other microbes, bacteria, you have morphous influenza, you have streptococcus pneumoniae, you have all these other opportunistic uh, infections. Opportunistic because if your resistance is low and you're uh -huh. uh, essentially moment temporarily immunocompromised, you open up the floodgates to all these bacteria. Right. So even if they normally don't uh, cause disease or problems, they will. Mm -hmm. So, palakas na resistensya. Mm -hmm. Drink a lot of water because uh, if the throat is dry, yes, that's the time this virus is very easily entered. The Please system. remember that. Yeah. I just read that. So, you water, have to keep water, your throat moist. moist. Uh -huh. moist yeah. lang kayo ng sip ng tubig kasi mm -hmm. a dry uh, throat can ano bacteria. For the this last clip, he's right because those are true facts. Good thing that they are very informative. Like I said in the in the intro, do not take this video very very seriously. And yeah, I was right. Secretary Duque has a lot of problems and cases because a lot of problems right now during the time of this recording. He has problems with the Philhealth company and himself. But in the early reactions of him, I saw that he actually have differences. He has the good ones and has the bad ones. Also, this goes to the final thoughts. What I think about it is that Secretary Duque has the rights and the wrongs. That's why we're in here in the first place. That's why schools are cancelled, flights are cancelled, there are a lot of COVID cases in our country, and of course in our cities, including states. And mostly, Mayors are trying to do stuff well, like Mayor Isko Moreno doing a lot of stuff like this, or Mayor Oka Malipitan doing stuff like this, and of course, a lot of mayors and girls who are mayors are doing stuff that are gonna be protected for their people. So, yeah, but this is also focused on Secretary Duque, okay, it's a first timer on this events of the virus pandemics. It's like a 100 year curse. So, yeah, that's I think for myself. But, anyways, thanks for watching my video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. I hope you enjoyed, your vid I enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later. So, bye bye.